Hello friends, welcome back to New and Old Survival. I'm Darren. What we have today, as you saw the picture in the very front, is the aloe. It's not just for burns. Now I can't remember everything that there is about the aloe plant, so I had it pulled up on my phone. And uh, a lot of people don't know that you can eat the aloe plant as a medicinal. So online, uh, according to the research done by the health ranger and nutritionalist Mike Adams, uh, aloe vera offers potent natural medicine that halts the growth of cancer tumors, lowers high cholesterol, repairs sludge blood, and reverses sticky blood. I don't know what that is. When I bleed, I bleed. It ain't sticky and it ain't sludgy. It boosts the oxygenation of blood, eases inflammation and soothes arthritis pain. It prevents kidney stones and protects the body from oxalates in coffee and tea. It alkalizes the body, helping to balance overly acidic dietary habits. It cures ulcers, IBS, Crohn's disease, and other digestive disorders. Reduces high blood pressure natural by treating the cause, not just the symptoms. Nourishes the body with minerals, vitamins, enzymes, and glyconutrients. Accelerates healing from physical burns and burns. Halts colon cancer heals the intestines and lubricates the digestive tract. It ends constipation. It stabilizes blood sugar and reduces triglycerides in diabetics. Prevents and treats candida infections, prevents the kidneys from disease, uh, boosts cardiovascular performance and physical endurance, speeds recovery from injury or physical exertion, hyd exertion hydrates the skin, accelerates skin repair. Okay, I know I'm out of frame, but I believe you can see this okay. Uh, this will be the knife that I cleaned the rat with. If you haven't seen that video, check it out. And guys, be sure to hit like, subscribe, and there's a little bell in the right-hand corner of that screen that uh, you can be notified whenever I post a new video so you can be kept up to date. Okay, back to this. I uh, have cleaned the knife, by the way, thoroughly. We'll cut the tips off of it. I've already cut this one. We're going to cut it again. And what I like to do is trim this outside kind of a sticky part uh, probably easiest from fattest to the thickest it don't take much all right guys sorry about that i had to put a little cut in the video because i was interrupted by the power company wanting to cut some trees so we've scraped out the middle of this aloe plant and uh, it is super duper high and i think it's a vitamin a B, B1, B12, uh, C, K. It's just a nutritional powerhouse. So uh, if you don't want to take multivitamins, I don't like taking them. I'd rather get it from my food. So um, we're going to try this. I've already tried it before. It's slippery, slimy, but actually kind of tastes like a cucumber. I appreciate you joining me back on New and Old Survival to learn about maybe another plant that you didn't know was edible. And uh, join me. Make sure to click like, subscribe, and that notification bell at the right hand portion of your screen. And you can be notified of the next. I've got ideas coming up. And uh, actually I had Frank Woods to make a comment and said, how about some fire without ignition? I assume he means the hand drill, the bow drill, the spindle. We'll find out. Thank you for joining me on New and Old Survival. Hopefully you saw a plant that you didn't realize was edible. Maybe you didn't realize it was that good for you. There's a lot of plants and I hope that we can discover them together. Thank you for watching. Have a blessed day.